Hey everyone, this is Bo Sanders. I'm the pastor here at... Oh, oh hey everybody, this is Bo Sanders, and we are testing something new. We're going to have Wednesdays at noon a midweek debrief where I can answer questions that have come up, comments that have come in, emails that have been sent to... Um, sort of debrief what happens uh, around here during the week. And so like, for instance, this week we have four things to talk about. The first is we've started into a new series called Where the Rubber Meets the Road. And Sarah was at the table this past Sunday talking about making decisions and if you have too many inputs and what do you do with your identity when you make changes or go through different seasons of life? It was an amazing conversation. I already got a really good email uh, and several comments uh, afterwards of people who wanted to talk about it and some of the implications or push back uh, on some of the ideas. So like that's the first thing we can do. Also, because we've started into in the church calendar year, the liturgical calendar, uh, we've entered into a new season, right? Because we're post Christmas now. And so uh, I've started into a new series called A Well-Rounded Faith, and I'm doing these little lessons or homilies because uh, it's not like a full sermon. Uh, and so this week I presented the Wesleyan quadrilateral and what happens if you're missing any of those four elements. And that was a really good conversation as well, and I'd love uh, to talk about some of the implications of that. Another thing we can talk about is in our Sunday school class, which is called BS with Bo, Brainstorming with Bo. We um, are looking at articles that have been sent in by people about topics that they wanted to talk about. And so the one that we're dealing with right now is that Americans are spending too much time alone. It was a fantastic conversation on Sunday morning. And so I'm actually going to be posting a PDF of the article that started this. And then a new study has come out that uh, men and not just young men, but specifically young men, are really suffering from not having enough friendships. And um, that seems interesting. So we're going to deal with that this coming Sunday, but want to talk through the topic uh, that we covered this past weekend. So we have brainstorming, we have where the rubber meets the road, we have a well-rounded faith. And then on Sunday afternoon, we started a new journey. Uh, in sp It's like spiritual guided journaling on... Um, from aging to saging, and about how to access the wisdom that is within you on your journey to be a person of wisdom or an elder, as it sometimes gets called. And in a culture like ours that has some ageism built in, but also this weird sort of, I don't even know how to talk about it. So in our culture, there's a mentality that once you're over a certain age, um, people sort of get set in their ways and they don't think of themselves maybe in, as elders in training. And so it's not just enough to get older, right? We all get older, but there has to be another element where as we get older, we don't get put on the shelf and that life gets smaller. I mean, there's a tragic thing that's happening in our culture where for people who are retired, so as a post work life, instead of that being the fruit of a life well lived and, and, and harvesting all that goodness, um, they're less desirable in certain arenas, they're less active in some of the things that bring them joy. They may not have a community that looks to them for perspective. And um, that's something that we as a multi-generational church here at Vermont Hills want to really intentionally counter that. And so we started into this journey. But what was really cool is that at our first uh, meeting so to begin, we had people in their 20s, 30s, 40s. I'm almost 50, but it's so known in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. It was really great to compare notes because people brought different perspectives and, um, and, and insights depending on sort of where they were in the journey. It was really, really good. So 
Uh, tomorrow night, Wednesday night, we restart in Bible study. We have a very sassy, zesty Bible study uh, at 6.30 on Wednesday nights, and we're going through the Gospel of John. That restarts tomorrow night. So there's plenty to talk about, all sorts of stuff going on, and I just wanted an opportunity to engage uh, midweek, but in an unfiltered way. So the reason that I'm so excited about this is because, you know, on Sundays, uh, I'm, I really need to speak with my pastoral voice, um, sort of my job, <laughs> my vocation. But there's another thing that happens during the week, which is that behind the scenes, when people say like, hey, I wanted to ask a follow-up question about that, or they email me and say, you know, I, I didn't really, I didn't gel with that or whatever, that I can speak more off the cuff and unfiltered. And so I've been toying with this idea for months, but it seems like it's time to have an online midweek debrief where both you in comments and questions and, and uh, emails and me uh, in responding to them uh, can sort of talk off the record as it were. So here's how it's gonna work. Today I'm gonna put up the video of the, the homily, the sermon, A Well-Rounded Faith, and the conversation with Sarah at the table. Hopefully you'll get a chance to check that out today, Tuesday, or Wednesday morning. Join me here Wednesday at noon uh, for the lunch hour uh, to debrief it. And so I'm very excited. Uh, obviously, there's some stuff we got to get in motion so that people can uh, watch the video if they weren't there on Sunday they can watch the video and get up to speed you don't have to be a member of this community or you don't have to subscribe to any specific doctrinal uh, belief statement or whatever uh, to be a part of the conversation we really are uh, an interactive community and so we really want people to participate and, and because we are interactive and so this is just one more way that we're going to be trying out to see um, if there is a desire for a midweek engagement where we can sort of um, speak off the record a little bit. Although it's recorded, so, you know, it's archived, so it's not that, that off the record, but I am looking forward to it. So let me know if you are interested or if you have any questions or comments or any suggestions about uh, how to do it well you know, to make sure that we have the impact that we're looking for. Okay, I'll see you then.